So Chris is nine days post-op, a lateral meniscectomy, correct? Outside of the knee got cleaned out. Yep. Outside meniscus. He's doing great. Um, great quad contraction. He's got great motion. He's almost pretty much all the way flat. Um, what about heel slide? What about heel? Looks like he's got pretty much full motion. Can you do both knees for me? So pretty much symmetrical. So his range of motion is great. His quad's good. Um, he's still working on flexibility and stuff that we did the other video, but we're going to start a little bit of gentle strengthening, progressive strengthening exercises. So um, first thing is just an easy bridge. There's a whole bridge complex that you can do. We want to work the glutes and the hamstrings. So um, yep, belly in. Just going to do your bridges, lifting up. Hold about three to five seconds. Comfortable range. I tell people to make sure they drive through the heels. That helps. Okay, right there. Perfect. Um, to add a little difficulty to the bridge, you can do a single leg if you're able to, but hold off on that. So another one to work your hips out. So band to bring legs together. So what you're gonna do, a little bit of distance apart right there. So about shoulder width apart like you had them. You're gonna bridge up, legs out, back together, and then down. Up, out. Together and back down. All right, Chris. Yeah. Chris is too strong. Well, isometric strengthening is going to be uh, planks. So you just hold a plank position, butt down right there. The important thing here, you can do 15 to 20 seconds. The important thing here is keep everything in line, knees straight. Your quads have to be nice and strong to activate. Your glutes have to activate to make sure to keep you upright and go back down, Chris. And I'll do it again one more time. Yep, this is a great exercise to do. All right, good. First of all, let's try to stand on your one leg, on your affected side. So that's gonna be the first step. If you can consistently stand about 20, 30 seconds for three to four uh, reps, then you're good to start on the next one. So you can do a star drill, which is directional changes. So um, make sure to watch your, your lunge mechanics, your squat mechanics. So. Uh, Chris, what you're gonna do, we're gonna lunge forward. Good. And out to the side. Good. And then back. Good. That's it. One more time. And we'll go from the side. And back. So Chris. One key thing when Chris lunges, he doesn't want his knee to go in front of his toes. That puts undue stress on that knee, and you don't want to do that, okay? So keep a good lunge mechanics, belly in. And then back, good. Don't let the knee get in front of your toes on the lunges. All right, if you've got that down, wall squats are next. We're working some wall squats. An easy way to do wall squats is with the ball. Just gives you a little bit of stability to the wall, lets you slide a little easier. So Chris is gonna do a little squat. Go ahead, feet about shoulder width apart, good. Try to stay a little taller, Chris, if you can. Try not to lean yet. Come back. Come, come back up. So, one more time. Good. Almost like you're sitting down in a chair. Keep your belly in, back flat. Try not to let yourself arch. Come back up one more time. Good. The important thing here is make sure your knees track over your toes. Keep good position. You want to shift uh, equally through both legs. You don't want one leg to weight shift more than the other. And that's good mechanics. You go to comfort, don't go to pain with those. Again, 10 to 15. So the first step, um, as far as for Chris, if he's got some good balance like he does, you can start some uh, walking, standing drills. So some simple walking drills, either side stepping, forward, backward walking, um, heel toe walking. So um, walk like a tandem, so heel to, uh, like foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. So if you have good balance, you can start walking like this, and then backwards you can walk regular, or you can walk again, heel to toe if you want, if that's a little too more challenging. It's pretty easy for Chris, he's pretty advanced, so let's go one more time. So heel to toe, like you're walking a tightrope. Good. Perfect. Yep, we're gonna do some lateral stepping, perfect. Perfect. Chris has good good position, nice athletic stance. Don't want to have any pain, nice squatted position. Let's go back. 
Once you get a little more advanced, you can start adding resistance to these. And then uh, the next one I want you to do, Chris, is like just diagonal stepping. So we can do just like. Just to add some directional changes, give that meniscus a little bit of a feel, let that knee kind of start getting a feel for kind of that lateral step, and then we're gonna step backwards. Comfortable steps, you know, comfortable range, good. You can add resistance eventually. Perfect. And then go back the other way. It's important to do kind of let that leg and ankle feel both directions. Good. It's not really tight at all. Looks actually pretty good. And then with the knee bent, that gets the soleus muscle with the knee slightly bent. And it gets the gastroc muscle with the knee straight. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, so, but you have great, great flexibility. So Chris isn't really tight, but this is important because if your calf uh, muscles are tight, your ankle is not mobile, you're, you're gonna be limited in your squat mechanics, so. Those are good. So we can roll? Yeah, we can roll. Let's do it. All right, so four way hip strengthening. You want to do the hip strengthening on both sides. If we're using resistance on this side, this side is balancing. So we're going to do both sides. I'm just going to be uh, holding the band for Chris. So what we're going to do is left side first. You always want to do both sides. So I'll just hold it. He's going to do four directions. So knee stays straight. We're going to go forward. Good. Come back. We'll do 10 each direction. So Chris is going to do just a couple. You can tie this around like a, a table leg or a bed leg, something like that to keep it stationary. There you go. Good. Come back. Keep the knee straight. Perfect. Then let's turn bed this way. We're going to do extension going back. And the last one is going inward for adduction. So turn again, going across your body. Yep. Good. Come back. Knee stretch. I'm good. Knee stretch. Alright. Good. So the important thing is, you know, have something for balance if you need. Do both sides. Knee stays slow and uh, knee stays straight. Hip is slow and controlled. Don't lean. Um, you're gonna feel it on both sides. One side because you're balancing, the other side because you're working the resistance. His goal is to get back to grappling. What would you say, um, give me one thing that's gone well since surgery. What would you say one thing has gone great? Well, just again to remind everybody, my point of reference was having this done before. So uh, this time it's been amazing that I didn't lose the ability to engage my quad. That's made all the difference in the world, I feel. Last time I was back on the mat drilling in four weeks. Uh, this recovery has gone a lot better. So I think, but for you and Chewy kind of holding me back, I would already be trying to do too much. Right. Um, but yeah, the, the ability to keep your quad working has made this a lot better and I've had a lot less swimming. So that's a, that's a function. Of I would swimming. say the reason Chris is probably doing or why he's doing so well is uh, he did get that quad engagement back um, pretty quickly. His swelling stayed fairly controlled. He, how's your pain? It's a like zero to 10, zero's no pain, 10's the worst. Uh, you know, it's always tough. It's what would you say right now? I have zero pain right now. And that's not very, it's not always typical, but. Uh, uh, day two, I was probably a four. Yeah. I did take a couple pain pills. That's all right, but um, keep the swelling down is great. Flexibility, his range of motion is full, his balance is good, and his quad engagement is nice and nice and strong. That's why he can start progressing. So those are things you want to look at. Um, the thing with Chris, he wants to get back pretty soon. I would like to tell him to take his time because uh, you don't want to have any more surgeries. Um, but he's doing really great. He's progressing for nine days. He's probably ahead of the game. So, yeah, nine days last time, I was just starting to be able to engage my quad again. Yeah. So he's like already, you know, doing single leg stuff, which is not always uh, typical, but it's great. The thing where you get in trouble is if you go do too much too soon. So um, just listen to your body. If something hurts, don't do it.